Hey guys, Cassie Deputy with Deputy Tribe. And um, I just wanted to come up here and give an update. Um, I'm officially out of ketosis now. I've been on keto f since the beginning of October and we're heading into the second week of December. <laughs> so I was on keto for a little over two months, two months-ish. Um, and they put me on keto because I had a traumatic brain injury in September. Um, I got in a go-karting accident, um, got a really bad concussion. I was having um, vision problems, balance problems. I was having seizures at night, tremors um, for five weeks after my brain injury and it wasn't getting better. So they put me on the keto diet and literally within 24 hours, my seizures stopped, my tremors stopped, um, my brain fog cleared every day. Every day I had more energy, I had more clarity. Um, it was going really well. And then um, on my, just about my third week into keto, so mid-October, um, so two weeks in, I all of a sudden got really, really sick. And I had swollen lymph nodes that hurt so bad. I was having extreme night sweats. Like my whole bed was like literally soaking wet. My clothes were soaking wet. I feel like you could have wrung them out. Um, I was having heat flashes. I got sores all over my mouth. I had a killing headache. I didn't eat and I just slept for seven days. And then I came out of that feeling really good. Um, but then it was after that that I started getting kind of itchy skin and um, like, you know, along my chest, underneath my, like by my rib cage, down the sides of my stomach, um, in my like groin area, my back, just really, really itchy. Um, like drive you insane itchy, 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 along my collarbones a little bit. And, um, from what I had researched, there's a thing called a keto rash. So I was like, okay, well, it's probably that. So keeping tabs with my doctor, um, we did a little bit of work on my stomach because when you have a brain injury, you have the vagus nerve that runs down into your stomach. So we did a little bit of work um, on the actual stomach and my entire body like shot my skin it was like it was alive and it blew up into hot rashes it looked like I poured coffee all over myself and I was itchy and hot so we stopped doing that we revisited it a little bit here and there and every time it was a horrible horrible intense reaction um, and then I noticed um, probably about a month into keto I would say um, we did the P no, we did a, a vagus nerve stimulation and my stomach was just killing me for hours after. I had the hot rashy thing and then my stomach started hurting and I was like, oh, that's kind of weird, but it kind of went away. So then we did it again. Um, so that was a Tuesday. We did it again on a Thursday and I had an even worse reaction, like immediate. My skin, my stomach swelled and it hurt really bad. And so they're like, okay, we're not gonna do that. <clears throat> and then we did the PEMF, I think it's called MAT. And we do it on my head, but we did it on my stomach, an immediate reaction. And then all of a sudden, my stomach hurt so bad and it never went away. Um, and it uh, it started with just like uh, like a lower abdominal pain. Like uh, I can't it was more of like a pressure, like a kind of like, OK, I'm bloated. That's what kind of what it felt like. But this was like a month ago. So now we're a month past all of that and this stomach pain has not gone away and it feels like there's an orange in my lower abdominal and um, I would just say that the symptoms have gotten worse. Um, so it started with just kind of some pain and then it started with some serious like increasing pain. Um, I was getting kind of concerned about it because um, I forget why I started getting concerned. But I told my doctors about it and they were they were more worried than I was. They thought maybe it's parasites, maybe it's an infection, um, maybe it's a bacterial overgrowth, let's run some labs. So we did some blood work. Um, I got a stool sample right before Thanksgiving. And right when the stool sample kit came, I actually had some blood in my stool 
And then I had two or three days worth of stool that was like black and very sticky and tarry. So I knew I was having some sort of like bleeding thing going on, but it kind of went away. I think right after Thanksgiving, I found a little bit more blood in my stool, but the bleeding kind of went away. But the stomach pain just is getting worse and worse. And um, so then um, just a lot of strange symptoms on top of the itchy skin, like my lymph nodes in everywhere are swelling and they itch and they burn. And I figured out the itching goes along every line of lymph nodes that I have. So it runs into my armpit. Um, literally every line of lymph node is where I'm itching really bad. So we did a bunch, I went to the ER one night because of how inflamed my stomach was. Uh, my neurologist felt it and he said, you know, I, I'm nervous it's your appendix. So I want you to go get a CT scan or something done so we know it's not your appendix. So I went to the ER, sat in the waiting room for seven and a half hours. The MRI machine had closed by the time I got back there. So they gave me a CT scan. They compared it to my CT scan after my accident because after my accident, I was getting, uh, I think a little bit before my accident too, I was getting like pains under my right rib cage, like sharp burning pains. So they compared it to that CT scan and they said everything looked fine and the same. Um, but the ER doc was still pretty concerned and he suggested that I follow up with a colonoscopy because a CT scan can rule out like appendix and large tumors and things like that. But I guess it's not very good for diagnosing smaller things that could be going on or something inside the colon wall. So he suggested I go get a colonoscopy. Um, so I go back to my neurologist and mind you, things are getting more and more intense. Like I've had lymph nodes in this side of my neck that have been swollen for a couple years now. And then some pain in my chest that I got looked out a few years ago. Um, that I thought was, you know, some sort of swelling that I needed to get checked out. So those things are worse now, and I have more and more lymph nodes that are swelling. Um, I kind of have body aches and like a low-grade fever thing going on for the last month, and just exhausted, exhausted. Um, <laughs> hi, Sojourner. So the first thing I, I tried was getting off keto. And I've been dairy free because my um, neurologist thought maybe dairy's a big inflammatory, we should cut that out. So I've been off of that for a while. And so I came out of ketosis yesterday. I ate an apple and some potatoes and um, just a lot of other weird, small little symptoms like some like, feeling of like crawling on my skin in certain places kind of like numbness like just a weird feeling like on my feet and hands a little bit on my face the back of my head um so then the other the last thing too is I have a mole that I've had since I was little born and it um, has changed a lot and so uh, moving forward I'm now off of keto um, still eating very, very, very healthy. Yeah. And so I'm seeing a dermatologist tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, they're actually going to remove the mole of concern. And then I'm going to talk about my itchy skin with them. Um, no, 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 no touch. And then I got a thermography scan. Um, so a thermography scan is basically a whole body scan that looks for heat signatures um, where you have inflammation. So I get those results tomorrow. And then um, Tuesday, I see my neurologist again. Oh, I gotta switch you. Wednesday, I see my primary, um, just to get a second opinion because I don't wanna run all these tests and do all this stuff if it's not something that, you know, several doctors think is concerning. Um, and then, um, oh, you are naughty baby um and then wednesday i see my primary thursday i see my neurologist again and then on the 15th is when i have a colonoscopy scheduled so that's kind of the update as far as being off keto um i did have a hard time 
falling asleep last night and staying asleep, I would have like these, I get really hot and then I get freezing cold and then like achy and that's been going on for about a month now, but I just had a harder time staying asleep last night. So, but I didn't, I'm not having any seizures so far, so that's good. Lots of brain fogginess. I'm having a hard time understanding what people are saying. Um, so, so that's what's going on. That's kind of an update, um, being off keto. I didn't lose really any weight until the last two weeks. In the last two weeks, my stomach has been um, having such issues. So on top of the pain and the bleeding, um, my stools have completely changed. Like they're thin and ribbon-like. Um, I just have this gnawing, burning pressure of pain. Um, I have all of a sudden, I feel like, oh my gosh, I need to go to the bathroom right now. And then I go and like nothing because there's something like it's stuck or something. I don't know. So I don't know what's going on, but um, I guess we'll see. My labs look good, so that's good. And yeah, so we'll, we'll keep you updated. But yeah, in the last two weeks, I lost, I was 155-ish and now I'm 147. So just in the last three, four weeks, I um, really lost some weight. All my clothes are getting really big and I just have no appetite, none. No appetite whatsoever. So, so that's what's going on. And we'll see. What do you think? Say bye-bye. You say bye-bye? Look at your crazy hair. Say bye-bye.